It may be the poorer cousin of gold, but this silver bullion bar is worth about forty thousand dollars. Thirty-six-year-old Gregor Gregerson sells metal bars and coins to investors here in Singapore. And as the world economy faces problems, business has significantly picked up, which he says is due to fear. It's lack of confidence in, you know, most of the Western world, Western governments. So you take the U.S. government, for example, it has a huge amount of debt. We're talking about one and a half trillion of additional deficit every year. If you take the total amount of gold the U.S. has officially, it's about 280 million ounces of gold. It's about 400 billion U.S. dollars. That's enough to cover the deficit for four months. So that's how little gold there is, and there's even less silver. So once people make these connections and realize how much money has been printed and how much debt has been created, uh, there are a lot of astute investors which are saying, I'm going to put my money into something physical that cannot be printed and something I don't have counterparty risk in. As a result, precious metal holdings hit a record in 2012. Gold has posted more than a decade worth of annual gains, while last year silver prices rose about 8%. Platinum, however, was the best performing with a nearly 10% gain. The shine on precious metals may come off slightly if major central banks start tightening monetary policy. But many here continue buying precious metals. Some traders estimate that silver in particular could rise by as much as 500 percent over the next three years. And as long as the global economy doesn't improve, then many of these investors will continue to search for safe havens such as these.